Welcome to another episode on MedNet with Dr. B. And today we'll be looking at physical examination focused on the respiratory system. So I'll be showing you some step-to-step -step guide on the respiratory system. Also looking at both the anterior and posterior region. So basically, we're looking at inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation. Okay, come with me, let's start. So, the first thing you're going to do is for every examination, you need to do a general survey. Now, I told you, you will see that in a different video entirely, so watch out for that episode. Now, let's focus on this examination respiratory. So, I'll be inspecting my patient. No more. Okay, so come now, let's go to this. All right, so the first thing we'll be doing, because the respiratory system examination, we have to look at some specificity. So, the respiratory rates. So, basically, you tell a patient to pull their hands on the abdominal region. <laughs> First of all, you don't allow them to know you're taking the rate as your lens and vital sign and you check for the rate based on the breath circle, inspiration and expiration. So for one minute, the normal is 12 to 20 breath circles per minute. After that, we check for reading. Is it a regular reading? Is it an irregular, irregular or regular, irregular reading? So we check if it is a shallow of the breathing. Now, that thing you need to check is, is there any form of use of accessory modes of respiration? Now, what are this? So, for inspiration, we have the SCM muscle, which is your sinophonomastoid muscle. We have your skeleton muscles, posterior, middle, anterior. We have your pectoralis major and minor. Where for expiration, you have your abdominal muscle. So, basically, your rectus abdominis, your internal oblique and external oblique muscles. Now, how do you know if a patient is using accessory muscles of respiration? Now, this is a way to know. So, during some form of physical ex exertion or during respiratory distress, the body, aside your usual muscles of respiration like your diaphragm and your intercostal muscles, now come for your accessory muscles. So, just in the form to expand the chest cavity, the lungs, to increase the volume. All right, let's go. Now, when you roll all this out, the next thing to do is to check for the symmetry of the chest. No sign of asymmetry. You check for the size and shape. So basically, no sign of pectus excavatum, no sign of pectus carinatum, no sign of pigeon chest, no sign of barrel chest. Now, posteriorly, you check for deformities, no sign of scoliosis, kyphosis, and lordosis. Now, also very important, you talk about types of breathing. Now, you, you see this kind of biot, chain stock, cosmos, and many more. You rule out all this. Now, after doing this, you go next to check for the trachea. Do you know this any form of trachea deviation? Good. No sign of that. Then we go to palpation. Now, on palpation, I'll be doing both anteriorly and posteriorly. Now, the first thing I check for is tenderness. So, watch as I go. Thank you. And you do the same for what? Posteriorly. Now, after you've done that, there's a special test under palpation which is called chest expansion test or the long excursion test. So, watch. So, first of all, we're doing the chest expansion test posteriorly. Now, which is also called the long excursion test. All right. So, watch me, you place your hands. Now, this at the level of your 10th rib, and you tell the patient to breathe in, breathe in, out. Breathe in, out. On this, you note on inspiration, the patient's chest expands. On expiration, it comes back to what? Normal. And we're done, they'll do the anterior. And anteriorly, you do the same thing. So the patient breathing out, breathing out, and you observe the same. Now, the next test, special test you do on the palpation is your tactile fremitus. Now, you're going to be using the other side of your hands and you're checking out for what vibrations. Now, this is a very special test to rule out consolidation when it comes to respiratory issues. Now, watch me. Anteriorly, you look at three areas 
posteriorly we look at four areas all right let's go anteriorly so i'm going to tell my patient to say 99 all right please say 99 99 99 99 thank you please do the wakanda sign for me all right this is to make the lungs sound more accentuated and also we focus on the interscapular region so you say 99 for me go ahead 99 99 99 99 and that's it with that we look at four areas posteriorly and three areas anteriorly for tactile affirmatives now we're going to percussion so on percussion for the lungs this is the most important thing you should know so you're using your middle finger your less dominant hand that's your pleximeter finger and you're placing it based on specific areas anterior or posterior and you'll be percussing with your plexo finger which is the middle finger of the dominant hand by the way all right so basically the six areas we we use to percuss as also similar areas for auscultation so six areas anteriorly seven areas posterior let's go supraclavicular region and you go in the ladder pattern infraclavicular region then supramammary the inframammary then we go for axillary on the axillary area you have upper and lower so watch upper axillary lower axillary and without you are done the six areas why is this important based on the location of the lung now i'm going to be percussing posteriorly now we purpose in seven areas not that it's the same area similar as for scottation so let's go the epical region now superior low in the ladder pattern inferior low now we've done three areas now we have amazing four areas left so how do you detect that you have two areas medially and two areas laterally so we've done one two three now you have four five four five so superior media and inferior media let's go let's do four five and don't forget this area of our right now is the base then we do six seven so those are what superior lateral inferior lateral let's go and with that you are done with seven areas thank you all right so now we're moving to the auscultatory step now in this case we have special tests for that but we're doing this anteriorly and posteriorly now, so initially the same areas we went on percussion is what we're going to do. Then we do the three special tests which are bronchophony, egophony, and whispered petrilochy. Let's go. So first of all, you're auscultating with the diaphragm of your stethoscope. So you're going to tell your patient to breathe in and out. So supraclavicular region, breathe in, out. Again, up. Infraclavicular region, breathing, up. Again, up. In the ladder pattern, supramammary, breathing, up. Again, inframammary, breathing, up. Again, then we go to the axillary region. Now, superior axillary, breathing, out, again, inferior axillary, breathing, out, again, 
And with that, you are done with the anterior scotation. Let's go into the special test factor now. Broker for you, tell the patient to say 99. Usually you expect to hear a muffled sound, but when the sound is louder, it's a sign of consolidation. Three areas, don't forget. Say 99. Say 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. And we're done. Now we do, you go for the same areas. Tell the patient to say E if it sounds like A. It also signifies consolidation. Say E. E. Again. E. Again. E. Again. E. Again. E. Again. E. And last one, which is whisper petrology. It's like a patient to whisper for you. So normally you should hear whispers, but in the situation where you hear something so loud, also signifies consolidation. Can you please say one, two, three for me? Whisper. And with that, we are done with the three areas for the special test. Okay, so we're going to go to the posterior region right now in terms of quotation. Now, please, you do the Wakanda sign for me. Similarities, you're bringing forward in the scapular region. So, the same seven areas. Breathing, how? Breathing, how? Epical region, still a larger pattern. Breathing, how? Breathing, how? Superior lobe, breathing, how? Breathing, how? Inferior lobe. Now let's look at the base. Let's have the medial region first of all. So the four, five. We've done one, two, three areas. Four, five. So we start with the superior media. Breathing, how? Breathing, how? Then inferior media, breathing. Up, breathing up. So we're done with that part of the base. Now we'll go to the lateral as for the base. Superior lateral breathing out. Breathing out. Inferior lateral breathing out. Breathing out. The most special test, which is brachophony, egophony, and strapetrinophy. Posteriorly, you have four areas just like your tactile fermitus. Let's go. So, for brachophony, it's not a patient to say 99 for you. Say 99. 99. Say 99. 99. Say 99. Say 99. 99. Say 99. 99. Say 99. 99. Say 99. 99. So, it should be a muffled sound, but when it's loud, it signifies consolidation. And egophony, it's not a patient to say E. If it sounds like A, then it's the sign of consolidation. Say E for me. E. Again. 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 E. Okay. The last one is whisper petrology. You tell the patient to whisper one, two, three for you. Go ahead. Whisper one, two, three. And with that, we're done with the test. On when the patient was whispering, if it was loud, which then it signifies consolidation. Now, so basically, we went through the four steps when it comes to respiratory system physical examination, inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, and see you next episode. Bye! And we have three special tests on that too. Now, please, I'm holding this. <laughs> <laughs>